Welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see how the state of charge of a battery can be used to control the charge and discharging of a lithium ion battery. Nominal voltage of the battery provided is 7.2 volts. The nominal capacity is 5.4 ampere hours. Since it's a lithium ion battery, it's advised not to completely charge your battery and at the same time not to discharge it fully. Now, the load of the battery is 1000 watts and it's purely resistive and the operation region that is the, the discharge time is between 50 seconds to 150 seconds of the simulation. So to begin the simulation, we'll need a power GUI block. And after the GUI block, we'll be taking a battery. Now we'll need a DC voltage source. This volt DC voltage source, the positive terminal of the battery should be connected to the positive terminal of the DC voltage source. And since the rated voltage of the battery is going to be 7.2 volts, the bat the DC voltage source's voltage should be greater than the voltage of the battery. And now we need a bus which can select only the SOC parameter of the lithium ion battery so let's connect the bus and select only the soc parameter so soc as you know stands for state of charge now we need a go to tag so let's name this as soc And let's get a scope to see if this much works. Yes, so as you can see that the battery charges. Let's add a switching component to the circuit such that it discharges and charges stops charging after a certain point so we'll consider an ideal switch for this purpose and we need a state of a state flow chart to indicate when what state the battery is in based on the SOC so we'll connect the SOC as the input parameter to the state flow chart And the output parameter, let it be, let us call it a pulse. Now, we'll have to go to the model explorer. And in the model explorer, we'll have to rename these parameters. Data is known as the input. So, as you can see it's input so we'll have to name it rename it as soc yeah apply and the output we'll have to name it as pulse so that's what we'll be using now let's call the first state to be charge and the second state to be discharge And let's provide a condition saying that if the SOC is greater than 80%, then the battery need not charge anymore and it can go to the discharge state if required. And if the SOC is greater than 40, less than 40%, the battery must stop discharging and it must charge. And upon entry of this state, the pulse should be high. So we'll call it, we'll set, assign the value 1. Just copy paste this in my bad.
yeah on discharge we call it to be zero the value of pulse should be low so we we'll assign the value zero so we'll get an rlc load So load can be represented in two ways, in terms of the impedance or in terms of watts. So in this case, we'll take the load and we'll give the active power to be a thousand watts and inductance to be zero, capacitance to be zero. So we'll make it a purely resistive load. Now let's just move it there for the convenience. And let's give two more ideal switches so we needed the discharge to happen between 50 seconds to 150 seconds of simulation right so we'll we'll design a logic for the same so we'll need a clock We'll need a compare block. We'll need a product block. And we'll need a constant block as well. And we'll need a NOT gate. So the clock clock basically stores the value of time. So the constant 15. So the, if the value of time is greater than 15, that output of the compare block will be high. And let's do the same for lesser than 150. side to make it look neater. Yeah, so we'll connect it to another product block. So this doctor of this product block is basically an indication of the region between 50 seconds to 150 seconds it will be high during this time and it will be low otherwise so no let's not do this let's give it a go to tag and let's call this discharge so discharge is high only during these periods of time and obviously the pulse has to be zero for it to be high run the simulation so as you can see I have made a mistake in naming the parameter I've, you must make sure it's, it's case sensitive so it has to be capital P let's try it again oh, there's another mistake uh, I forgot to change the other one so yeah this is case sensitive so we have to make it capital P we have to provide the pulses to the battery connection to the DC source. Okay, now let's run the simulation. So as you can see the battery charges 
and then between and it waits till 50 seconds for the discharge and it discharges till 150 seconds and then it's constant after that. So hopefully this video was informative and provided you guidance regarding the simulation. Kindly check our other videos and do let us know if you have any queries. And kindly like and subscribe and click on the bell icon near the channel's name. Thank you.